seriously thinking about suing the doctor. But the doctor's defense was, we go off these computers now and, and the uh, national uh, you know, system and Obamacare, we go off that system now and it tells us do this. And, and my dad said, you might as well just shoot old ladies in the head. She doesn't have diabetes. She doesn't have type 1. She doesn't have type 2. They literally knew that she'd eaten and, sh and shouldn't do the test. They literally still did it and then put her on something that almost killed her. That's America now, Dr. Group. That's how crazy it is when you go to these hospitals. That's... That's the reason why medical mistakes are the number one leading cause of death, and they've been the number one leading cause of death. But this wasn't even a mistake. Yes. Big no, Pharma, no. I mean, Big Pharma. They would classify it as a mistake, but I mean, no, th that was not a mistake at all. I mean, I was in a clinic picking up some medication. It's a clinic built onto a um, pharmacy that also has natural supplements at it. So I was picking some stuff up for family, and I saw this woman that looked like, you know, a beauty queen in a short skirt and the glasses on. And I, I said, who is that? And they said, oh, that's the drug reps. They're in here all the time. And then they went on to tell me, because the guy knew me, he goes, listen, I'll let you in on the big secret. They can't really give us trips and goods and Rolexes anymore. But if you buy their drugs, uh, you get a date. They, the, what? The big Pharma basically has hookers now out as their reps. Can you believe that? Yeah, I can believe that for sure. I mean, is this, is this, is this not diabolical? <sighs> it is. It is. But, I mean, it's just like, it's, it, you know. In fact, that came out in the news. Guys search uh, 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 sales companies using women's sex to sell or, or, or saleswomen using sex to sell. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I mean, I, I, I don't see, you know, why they wouldn't do that. I mean, they pull out every, every string that they have. But when you look at the mechanism of causing disease, I mean, not only is it the chemtrails that were uh, for the respiratory, because they know how, how powerful that respiratory tract admission is. I mean, they know that you're going to breathe it in and it's going to come right into your system. But then you got all the other chemicals too. I mean, the smoking, I mean, now they have the e-cigarettes, which they put the propylene glycol in, which is just antifreeze. So when you combine, let's say, what you're breathing in from chemtrails. Then you combine all the household chemicals, the mold, the mildew, the dust mites, the dander, um, all the chemicals and heavy metals you're exposed to, the paint fumes. Most people live in an extremely toxic house because everything is built green now and everything is so com you know airtight that there's it, the inside air is 10 times worse than the outside air. So when you're sitting in there, if you're sleeping on a memory foam mattress where you're breathing in fire retardants and VOCs and, and all this outgassing all day long, which are toxic chemicals, the phthalates, you're, you have smoke, you have mold and mildew, you have pet dander, you know, all this stuff combined is going into your bloodstream and it, all it's doing is just reducing your immune system even more. And, you know, what I found is that- Oh, look at it. There it is. Give me an RX cheerleaders, pep up drug sales. <laughs> I see, and I'm not saying she's a uh, hooker. Uh, that's a New York Times article. She became a drug salesperson. But, but I'm telling you, I've seen articles where some of the women... Anyways, I'm sorry, well, I'm, I'm interrupting. Well, because they know that sex sells. I mean, you know, and they have to... It's a game. They have to. They want to get in there and sell the, their drugs to the so people so the doctors will prescribe more of them. They it's a money game. I mean, they want to make more money. So of course they're going to do whatever they want to do, but. What, I'm, what I want people to understand is that there's ways to clean up your lungs and you have to protect your lungs. Here it is, CBS News. Pfizer sales reps discuss having sex with doctors. I told you. <laughs> Literally, though, dude. I mean, I know, like, you know, number 10 streetwalkers when I see them. I mean, this country is unbelievable, man. It is unbelievable. I mean, it's... We have, uh, we have people that are sick, that are dying every single day because... And we've got uh, beautiful women selling Ritalin, making sure the doctors put the kids on Adderall. That's right. I mean, how do you stop a woman that looks like Marilyn Monroe to having the doctor want to meet that quota? Yeah, and then of course... I mean, literally, that's like how the, 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 the Nazis, you know, had both the Kennedy brothers having sex with this blonde bombshell Nazi operative. That got declassified in World War II. They had to actually send them overseas to get them away from her. I mean, that the drug reps are literally using sex operatives. How do you deal with that kind of power? But they got the FDA coming after us. 
it doesn't stop there because it also, you know, look, if you send out a bunch of prostitutes to, to, to sell your drugs and, you know, these guys are probably, you know, been married 20, 30 years, are probably in their 50s, then not only does it stop there, but then it breaks up the family. They, then both the parent, you know, breaks up the, the kids, the mother, the father, then they go through a divorce. What happens then? They both get stressed out. They could put on psychotropic drugs. It's not just one tiny thing. I mean, it snowballs into this massive plan to... You know, and that's been that's been documented. The, the plans to, to for fertility and sterility and to but I mean, there. when you see it for yourself, yeah, I haven't seen it, but you have. So no, no, no. When I saw this, I'm not even going to tell the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there waiting to get this prescription, watching this for like ten minutes, and I was like, oh my gosh, this woman. I'm surprised you didn't say something. <laughs> well, I just, I just suspect that a large percentage of them end up with the doctors that do the best. Oh, there's a little, there's some dates on the side. And again, ladies and gentlemen, that, that is so criminal to be doing that. And it's just like the police uh, are also taking sex for favors. But here's the CBS News. Pfizer sales reps uh, discuss having sex with doctors. Sales reps at Pfizer are using a Cafe Pharma bulletin board to discuss whether it is common for their colleagues to sleep with doctors whom they are trying to persuade to write prescriptions. And it goes on to say they brag about it. But I'm telling you, the companies are doing it on purpose. It's organized. And they have articles, oh, it's just happening. We just hire these beauty queens and pay them $200,000 a year to go hooking up and down the block with the doctors to put your kid on Adderall that basically kills them. Now, you came here to unveil a new product today that you developed, years in development, lung cleanse with all this going on. I've been using it. We don't even have the ad cut for it. It just went up on InfoWarsLife.com. People want to be the first to get it. Lung cleanse, totally organic, non-GMO. We're going into overdrive to break down more of your... Uh, regimen here of how to be healthy. And we've got Weldon Henson coming to talk about what Cloyal Silver did for him when the antibiotics weren't working with uh, his uh, strep in his lungs that's ravaging the country. But tell us about the InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse and how you developed it, Dr. Group. Well, it started probably about 10 years ago. And every year has been, I've been getting more and more and more phone calls with respiratory illnesses. I mean, it seems like all year round, it used to be during flu season or something, but I mean, chronic pneumonia to respiratory to sinuses. I mean, you name it. It's just, uh, people have been begging me for a long time. They're like, you got to do something. Like, you have to produce something that's going to, that's not going to be harmful. I cannot find a antihistamine on the market out there, which is not chemicals. I cannot find anything that I can take or squirt in my nose or put in my, you know, support my respiratory tract that's natural and that's safe. I mean, and a lot of it had to do with the chemtrails because there's a lot of people out there that were calling my office saying, you know, they are spraying this stuff everywhere and I can't even breathe. You know, I'm wearing a mask three times a week. So what can I do to support my lungs? That's how I started getting into it because I started noticing them spraying too. And I was like, my kids started and my kids are all organic and, you know, I started having, you know, problems with my throats and I eat pretty much all raw foods and this is attacking everybody, no matter how healthy you are or how sick you are. And so I was like, well, what can we do? I mean, what, how can we combat this? I mean, obviously talking to our senators and legislators, I mean, no one's revealing what they're putting in the air. I mean, this is all hush hush. I mean, tell us what's in the new lung cleanse or what we could have called, I guess, chemtrail detox. What do these herbs, it's got a whole bunch of stuff in it, all organic. What does it do? Concentrated. So basically what I did was I chose a combination of herbs like osha root and, and, uh, uh, peppermint, which is really good. Eucalyptus, which is also good. It's not only, it's, it's for lung support and lung cleansing. I mean, it, it helps reduce the irritation in the lungs. It helps you breathe better. As a matter What's of fact, lung wart? Lung wart is actually an herb. They call it lung wart because it's good for strengthening the lungs. So this is something that you can keep your lungs Organic strong. oregano. Organic. It's got plantain in it. It's got a unique Orange peel. Orange peel. It's actually got menthol crystals in there to help open up the bronchioles. And it's got a spray top. Yes. It's got a spray top so you inhale it. Yeah, so here's how you use it right here. Stay there. We're, we're going to go to overdrive, infowars.com forward slash show to find the free feed. This this is revolutionary. Available at infowarslife.com. And your purchase, when we do these plugs every few months, helps fund the operation. Stay with us. Today.
Alex Jones here to tell you about how you Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the soft.